Welcome to the Massic Sports Zone. I am your host, Corey Sacone, and I am joined here with Coach Murphy, Matt Sportini, and John Testani. The Panthers are 9-0 after their latest victory versus Pinnell. It was a 49-6 game. Coach, with the season coming to an end, how has this group been different than the championship team from last year? Well, this group took a little while to, to gel and to kind of find its uh, own personality because uh, we did have a lot of new guys uh, filling in in places. But um, I think they've done a really good job of uh, learning their strengths and their weaknesses. Um, we've de uh, developed a real good uh, practice habits, uh, especially the second half of the season. And, uh, you know, I think we're starting to play some of our best ball right now. The defense has been led by John Testani and Matt Sportini, and that's one of the big reasons for your success this year besides the offense. Matt, you like to fire up the defense. You have a winning attitude, and that's basically uh, why you mo you're motivated to play. Uh, for the SWC championship game tonight, how do you plan to get the defense ready for an explosive Pomp Rock offense? Well, usually I, uh, you know, I like to yell a lot and get the kids fired up, but this week it's really about you know, respect. You know, Coach was saying yesterday that not, no one's really given us the respect we need this year to uh, go out there and be who we can be. So tonight's more about winning it and getting it, not for you know the plaque on the wall, but for ourselves. For the NASA community and the players. NASA. Matt has 36 tackles and 3.5 sacks. John, you play defense, but people know you for your big kick through the uprights. Uh, rumor has it that Boston College is trying to recruit you for football. Is that a true rumor? Well, uh, I've gotten a few letters. Um, you know, just starting the college process now, seeing how it goes. Um, yeah, I just hope it uh, ends out good. John has 53 tackles, four interceptions, and 45 extra points. He will also be playing baseball, so that's another recruit possibility from a top college. Coach, the weapons of the week from Paparag are quarterback Andrew Clements, who has five passing touchdowns, nine rushing touchdowns, and four receiving touchdowns. Also running back Ben Crick, who has two passing touchdowns, 1,500 rushing yards, and 22 rushing touchdowns, along with one receiving touchdown. These guys play all over the field. What is the key to stopping them tonight? Both of those guys are real talented players. Um, and getting lined up for us on defense is the, is the most important thing. And, and having everybody in the right places and understanding their assignment on uh, each down. Because um, if you make a mistake with either one of those guys, it usually ends up in the end zone. So um, you know, getting ourselves lined up, um, proper technique on every down, and then making sure tackles and making sure that we don't give up the big play uh, is something that's going to be uh, important tonight. Uh, Matt, we asked, uh, we asked uh, John if he was going to Boston College, if he was actually being recruited there or not. Do you plan on playing football in college? Well, I, uh, I do plan on playing football in college, but I always think to myself that's not going to be the same as you know the guys that I have here. So it's, I'm kind of iffy at the moment, but if I was to pick a college, I'd be looking at Dean College in Massachusetts. Is Massachusetts? Well, why, do you, why do you pick Massachusetts? It's close to home, but not that close to home. No, you so know. you don't want to be in Connecticut anywhere? Nah, no? Nah. All right. Massey gets down two with seven seconds on the clock. If you go for the field goal, it'll be a 45-yard attempt. John, are you going to be on the field, or is Casey going for the deep ball? Um, you know, I, uh, I support Coach Murph's decision. You know, I hope, uh, you know, m most than likely we go for the uh, we go for it, but if it's a winning situation, I, you know, I'm just gonna seize the moment, be out there, and hope everything uh, goes the way it should. Well, if that's a 45-yard attempt, what is your longest field goal that you've ever made? Um, the longest, I think, was um, 47 against uh, Newtown, and, um, and the score, I think, of that, I don't know, we won by a field goal, so. Was that last year? Yeah, no, when I was a freshman. Oh, freshman. All right, coach, is playing on turf any different than playing on regular grass, like massive? Well, and for us, it'd be tough to, to tell because we don't we don't practice or play on regular grass. Um, there isn't any grass on our field or our practice <laughs> field, so uh, for us, it's it's a lot better. Um, you know, having sure footing, um, I think it speeds up. You know, uh, both teams, and, and it's it's nice to know that you don't have to worry about one of the different one of the elements. Uh, which would be footing and, and uh, those types of things. So, um, you know, our guys really enjoy it because we don't get to get on it all that often. For teams that have it, uh, I think you get a little used to it and, and you kind of get spoiled. But for us, it's uh, it's a nice change from what we're used to. Well, it showed versus Benell that when you guys exploded on the field, uh, do you think it will have an impact on the SWC championship game? Um, no, I don't think the field uh, has anything to do with it. Um, you know, both teams are, are very talented teams. Both teams will be well prepared. Um, both teams, I think, have really good coaching. And, um, you know, I know they're excited. I know we're excited. It's just this one's going to come down to who, who plays the best for 48 minutes. Well, what do you think is going to have the uh, bigger impact, offense or defense? 
Um, well, our defense certainly needs to play well, and um, uh, I have you know utmost confidence in those guys that they're going to go out and get lined up and do the right things. And um, if we can and do a good job defensively, um, you know I think our offensive uh, weapons that we have will, will uh, show themselves tonight. So um, you know I feel good about you know how prepared we are. I feel good about the practice week that these guys have put in. Um, I'm very proud of them to be in this situation, uh, considering you know we graduated you know 10 starters on offense and eight starters or nine starters on defense. And you know for these guys to put themselves in this type of situation uh, says a lot about the character of this this group. And then for years to come, uh, the system has been where it wants to be. There's a lot of good young talent out there, and it's showing so far this year and in the past years. Last question, guys, uh, what is, who's your favorite football player? Matt, let's start with you. Well, it's kind of hard to say because, I don't know, I would, like, I would say Ray Lewis, really, just because he's, you know, kind of, when he gets on the field, he's just, there's no stopping him kind of thing. He has that, you know, right mindset. And, He's in on every tackle. You think you have the same attitude as him, getting everybody fired up before the game? I wouldn't say I'm as crazy as he is, <laughs> but I would like to hope that, you know, I'm good as he is. Not not like, yeah. Not yet, but not yet, soon. But right. How about you, John? Um, I don't really have a favorite f football player. I just like, you know, watching football. Um, all during the weekends, my father, you know, has me come down, watch all the extra points kick off, so... No, probably one of the kickers. Who do you think the best kicker in the league? Uh, Adam Vinatieri? Yeah, you know, I like him. I like all the kickers. I just watch, see how they do things. Do you think you'll be like them one day? Hope so. Yeah? Hope so. All right, well, good luck in the SWC Championship game versus Pomperog. It will be a battle of the undefeated and a battle of the Panthers. Stay tuned for our next episode, and you will find out who will be wearing the crown. Thank you for watching.